Hello? Hello? Hi, thank you for returning our call. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? This is Mike. Well, my name is Tony and I am from the Warranty Protection Center. The reason for my call was in regards on your vehicle. So All just right. update your file, what kind of car or vehicle are you currently driving now? 2008 Kia Sorento. Uh-huh, a 2008 Kia Sorento, am I right? Yes. So, well, uh, we are from the Warranty Protection Center, and this is just a final courtesy call to check the extended warranty options for the vehicle before we close the file. So, approximately how many miles do you have now on this 2008 Kia Sorento? 53,000. Uh-huh, 53,000 miles, and still the vehicle is running okay and fine until now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. So just to verify, sir, um, can you have your first, late, first name and last name for just verification? Yes, first name is Dixie, D-I-X-I-E. Mm -hmm. Last name's Normus, N-O-R-M-O-U-S. Okay, so just to verify, your first name is spelled as D-I-X-I-E, and your last name is Normus, which is spelled as N O R. M O U S, am I right? Right, Dixie Normus. Okay, that's great. Uh huh. So, well, uh, the, before I close out the file today, let me just bring a coverage specialist on the line with us. We can explain everything to you in detail. So, just give me one second. Would that be okay? Sure, yeah. Okay, so hold for a second. I'm connecting you now. Don't right. firm here with you on the line. Uh huh. Okay. Hold okay. for a second. Stay on the line for a moment. Okay. Thank you very much for holding. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? Dixie. Normus. Dixie Normus? Yeah, D-I-X-I-E-N-O-R-M-O-U-S. Okay. Well, good afternoon. I'm actually the senior coverage specialist. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Just returning the Very call good. here. Yeah, just returning the call. Well, give me just one moment here, hon. Let me get your file pulled up, then I can better assist you. How's that? Okay. Okay, go. So... Does look like you currently have the 2008 Kia Sorento, and you have approximately 53,000 miles on the vehicle. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So a couple of questions I have to go over with you first. Uh, when you purchased the vehicle, did you buy this vehicle brand new or was it pre-owned? No. <laughs> it was new. Okay. And looks like here, since the vehicle is already outside the actual coverage, um, was there any reason, since it's showing here on the records, that they had already mailed out that final reminder notification to you that you have not gotten around to extending coverage on the vehicle? I, I, I don't remember getting anything. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's not the end of the world, since you oh, don't recall okay. receiving it. However, since, indeed, it did have coverage on it up to this point, you have both the full coverage and the powertrain, and they have just lapsed. Um, odds are I should be able to get it approved and get you back under a certified extension. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, there are just a couple of questions I'll have to go over with you first to make sure the vehicle still qualifies for care. Okay. Now, first off, as far as the vehicle's concerned, are you planning on holding on to it much longer? Yes, yes. I mean, there's nothing wrong okay. with it. Yeah. All right. So you're like me. I mean, with how expensive cars have gotten, I keep mine until the wheels fall off. So as yeah. far as the vehicle is concerned, um, has it had like any modifications done to it, like engine modifications or suspension? Yeah, I pimped it a little bit. You pimped it a little bit? Yeah, I put mud flaps <laughs> on it. I put mud flaps on it. Mud flaps? Yes. Okay. What else have you done to it? That's all. That's it. Okay. No uh, oil leaking or check engine light on, nothing like that? Nope, nope, nope. No, okay. And as far as the vehicle is concerned, has it been in any repair shop for anything minor or major recently? I had to replace the testometer on it about two months ago. Okay. All right, but that's about it? Yeah. Okay. That was 200 well, bucks. Okay. Well, that's absolutely fine. I mean, since you have indicated for the most part the vehicle is still indeed in good running condition, no pre-existing conditions, um, I am still going to have to place you on a very brief hold 
I'm going to speak to underwriting really briefly and see if I can still get an approval for you for them to still offer you coverage, okay? Okay. So while I'm doing that, Mr. Normas, go ahead and grab yourself a pen and paper, and I'll be right back with you in just a moment, okay? Uh, okay. Okay. Okie doke. So, Mr. Normas? Yes. Okay, hon. So good news. They did allow me to go ahead and authorize oh, good. Uh, me to go ahead and offer the extended coverage on the vehicle. Now, however, because of the service history on the vehicle, um, as well as the physical age and mileage, I will need to know by the end of the call whether you wish to activate your coverage or not, okay? okay. Because they will be closing out the vehicle's eligibility after the call today. Now, as far as the vehicle's concerned, did you grab yourself a pen and paper? Yeah, I got it. you were holding I got it right here, yeah. You have it there, okay. Yes, yes. So as far as the vehicle's concerned, um, they're approving you based upon the odometer reading. You're showing you're only at 53,000. You're approved for additional five year extension, okay? Okay. That'll be the max care that you'll receive. So this will be five more years of care as well as an additional 100,000 miles. That'll be whichever one comes first. Okay. Um, they'll also still waive in the inspection on the vehicle. That's huge for you because not only does it save you money, but it prevents the possibility of having the inspection performed and finding out it has any pre-existing conditions down the line that could disqualify it from care. Okay. Okay. So back under care, it's going to pick up 100% parts, labor, and diagnostics. It will cover your engine, your transmission, your drive axles, your full drive lines, <clears throat> your heating, and your cooling system complete, which will indeed pick up both your compressor, your condenser, your radiator, your water pump, your fuel delivery system, which will cover your fuel pump, your fuel injectors, and then most importantly, all your basic electronics will be covered, okay? Okay. So pretty much that'll pick up like your power seat, power window motors, the alternator, voltage regulator, timing belt, and starter. Okay. Uh, so basically what it does is it covers all the components, that would statistically speaking go out at a distance. Now, if, if the testometer okay. goes again, will it cover that too? Well, when you just you just did that, you said a few yeah, I just moments did ago. yeah yeah, but I don't have to pay another two hundred dollars of if I'm getting this warranty. I just want to make sure it covers everything. Yeah, give me a second here. Okay. You mean the gauge, which shows how fast you're driving, correct? No, the testometer. It's part of the. They said it was part of the ignition system. I don't know what yeah, it is. Yeah, long. I well, yeah, know. anything, anything, anything like that would be covered. If it's anything that's not like normal wear and tear, will not be covered. Any okay. normal wear and tear, any plastic rubber related goods, any cosmetics, chip in the paint, tear in the seat, those things are not covered. Oh no, no, okay. no! I don't need that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are the only things that will not be covered. Now, as far as your policy is concerned, it is certified nationwide, so you can bring the vehicle into any dealership of your choosing anywhere throughout the United States as well as Canada. You'll have your 24-hour emergency package. That there I'm actually throwing in for you. Mm -hmm. So with the 24-hour emergency assistance, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We'll include lock key as well as lockout services. You'll have five years on that. And then you'll also have your rental car care. With the rental, as long as the vehicle's in service at the dealership for more than four to six hours, you're automatically eligible for a free loaner. Okay. 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 All right. Now, as far as your policy is concerned, it is 100% transferable, renewable, and refundable. So since it's a long plan, meaning if you decide to get rid of the vehicle anywhere down the line, you do receive a prohibited refund back on whatever portion you don't use. If you happen to sell it private party, you can transfer it to the new owner. Or if you love it and you're planning on keeping it, you can renew it, keeping the same level of care. Okay. okay. Um, one important... Oh. Sir? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Let, let the okay. dog out. Let the dog out, please. Thank you. Now... The plan is actually designed to get you back on the road as fast and as conveniently as possible. Um, as far as coverage is concerned, I do want to ask, Mr. Normus, is this the type of plan that sounds like you want back on the vehicle moving well, forward? Well, I don't know how much it costs yet. I don't know. 
Well, yeah, costs we haven't gotten there just yet. I mean, as far as coverage wise. Yeah, coverage wise, yeah, yeah. But I, if I don't okay. know how much it costs, I'm not going to, don't know what to say. Well, I, I hear you loud and clear. And you're in Florida anyhow. So just so you do know, the rates in Florida are cheapest across all states because it's basically considered a retirement state. Because we're all so old. Far... We're all old down here. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> well, age is only a number. Okay, uh, that's all that is. Tell my wife. As that. far as, <laughs> all right. So as far as your vehicle is concerned, like I was informing you, we're going to get into the cost in a minute. Um, anytime you go into the dealership, you would only pay your standard one hundred dollar deductible. You would not pay any more than that. So whether the bill is say five hundred or five thousand, that's all you would pay. Now, as far as pre, as far as the approval for the payment plan, if your policy is not something that you would wish to pay like all in one lump sum, it's all same as cash payment options, and it doesn't cost you any extra to split it up. The only requirement that would need to be met is that you need to have either a valid checking account with a national bank or a major credit card. So if you do decide to extend out your policy today and go with the payment plan, would you be utilizing either a checking account or a major credit card for the initial activation fee? I, I still don't know how much it costs. I don't know. <laughs> well, the cost we're going to get to in just a well, moment, but I, underwriting I wish we would, would. Need to know whether you would be using either a credit card or would you be using a checking account? It for depends on how much it costs. I don't know. I mean, I got money in the bank and I got a credit card, but I don't know which one I want to use till I know how much it is. Okay. So we'll, we'll just put both. So as far as your premium, I do have that in there. So I know you've been asking that the yeah, entire yeah, time. Yeah. Your premium for all five years is actually coming in at just 3810 mm. Well, that's not per year. Okay, that's not per year. So hold on. That's for all five years. That actually works out for you. It's only seven sixty two a year. That's less than a new set of tires on your vehicle. Okay? Well, will it pay for now, tires? Do not no, it, I'm just using oh. that as an example for you oh. of how expensive things are, oh, okay. okay? Now, you have two options. You could activate with this little is only 550 down, pay your premium off over 15 payments at 217 or you could activate with the minimum. Minimum okay. is only 250 down, now, and with this one, they'll provide... Does, does my Kia dealer accept this thing? That's what I need to know. Your policy is certified nationwide, absolutely. What, what's the name of the place? What's the name of the place? Your your policy will be directly under RPP Supreme, so you're in a certified nationwide P plan. P Supreme, you call it? Is the name of it? No, sir. R, as in like Romeo. Romeo. But just, just so R you Supreme? are aware. Well, I want to call my dealer Kia dealer and see if they accept this before I buy it. Well, the dealership doesn't have their own warranty company, just so you are aware of No, that. no, I want to see warranty. if they accept this as payment. That's yeah, what I want to well, know. Wanna, if you want to put me on hold and call them, I'll be more than happy to hold for you. That I can do. Okay, let me call them. Now, what's okay. the name of it? Our Supreme? Hello? Ma'am? Hello? Still there? Hello? 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 You have been kicked from this conference.